Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a March Brown Wonder the hook I have in advice is a two extra long dry fly hook. This is a size 12. I'm going to use rusty brown thread. We're going to start the thread in the back of the hook eye and we're going to take that back to where it would hang at the barb of the hook. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that excess. Now for the tail or the shuck, I'm going to use a Antron or Zilon. And this is a brownish color. And we want the that to be twice the length of the hook shank. So we're going to want that much. I'm going to cut that off over on this side. I'm going to take that antron, I'm going to break it in half, and I'm going to put it back on. And what that, that's going to do for me is break up the lengths of the antron. We don't want it a nice cut off there. You could even just kind of pick it out there a little bit. We're going to keep that... Uh, shuck about uh, no more than one half the length of the hook shank. We're going to wrap that on, wrap that forward, and you want to keep that on top. And we're going to bring that up about maybe one and a half eye lengths from the eye of the hook. I'm going to go ahead and bring that back. Now I'm going to take some nice tan March Brown dubbing. And we're going to dub that. Make a nice long noodle because this is a two extra long hook shank. Now we're going to go ahead and wrap that. I'm going to come back first and then I'm going to go forward. And I'm building a taper as I'm going here. I might have to put some more dubbing on there. bring that up I'm gonna go back to help that taper and then I'm gonna wrap right in front of the right in front of that uh, antron I'm gonna fold that back and I'm going to push it forward and I'm going to make a bit of a loop there and this will help to stand up the wing Gonna take that loop and stand that up. Put a few more wraps on the bare shank there. Now I'm going to take wood duck flank feather. And I have about a quarter of an inch or about two dozen. We're gonna tie these in on the bottom. I'm gonna hold them right on the bottom. Bring them up. And I'll pull them to length just a little bit there. And we can remove the excess. Make 
sure I get them underneath there we go now for the wing we're gonna going to use deer hair I have a nice coastal deer hair right here and I have it a clump in my hair stacker gonna even out the ends take them out so that you can have them in the correct direction and we want that wing to be just the length of the body Gonna grab a hold of them there and rotate that a little bit to just set them in there put a few wraps on there going to pull that that tag end up wrap in front of it and we can make the head now we're going to take that clump and we're going to cut that off we're going to cut that off just like you would with a caddis leave a little bit on there for the head And I'm going to go ahead and take my whip finish since I have enough room to actually use a whip finish. I'm going to get rid of that. Got a couple of strays there I didn't get. There we go. I'm going to turn that over. I'm going to put some uh, head cement on the bottom. And this fly was originated by Ben Rinker. He's a guide on the Delaware River in the Catskills. This is one of the great patterns on the Catskills or on the Delaware. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.